Hi guys, you're welcome to Covet Magazine and you're welcome to today's video. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the Covet Magazine gang. And if you're just meeting Covet Magazine for the first time and you've not subscribed yet, what are you even waiting for? Subscribe and be an official Covet Magazine gang and don't miss out on all the fun things. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle, entertainment, you'll find everything here on our channel. <laughs> So in today's video, we're playing with some COVID beauty edits and we're looking into five steps into happy hydrated skin. And um, in case you do not know, let me just give you like a quick tip and uh, a little understanding of what um, hydrate, hydration really means. Hydration really means that some um, increasing the water content in, in, your, in your skin because we're talking about skin today. So increasing the water content in your skin and either by drinking it or by, by applying it one way or the other. So that is what um, hydration really means to, to prevent and when you and the benefits of um of a good hydration on the skin is that um it prevents some um, of dry flaky skin and it also prevents um it prevents oiliness which is very new to me uh, with what i understand i understand that um when you drink water it actually creates this kind of like a balance between your your body oil and water and um tend to reduce too much of um sebum production so if you have a, a oily skin this video is definitely for you as well including the if you, including if you have a, a dry skin including the dry skin girls and boys if you know what i mean so <laughs> so the the first benefit is that it prevents some dryness and it also creates some um, balance in uh, in in oiliness in the skin so it combats oiliness it also prevents some um, fine lines and wrinkles as well so and um and i also understand that hydration also plumps the skin as well so if if you have uh, if a good hydration plumps the skin definitely will reduce the signs of um, fine lines and wrinkles so that's where we're going what more what other benefits i had with my note here i think um yeah it also increases it also increases um skin elasticity so a good hydration will also strengthen um the rigidness of your skin which we want in our skin we want that kind of skin that when pulled apart will definitely bounce back to normal so it's also it also encourages that and also it's um it protects the skin barrier and that is very important in today's video uh, that in fact that's the purpose of today's video to protect your skin barrier and if you do not know what skin barrier is i've said it in many of our videos on this channel you can have a look at them uh, skin barrier is like um imagine them as a build of block on your skin so let's take the face for example so you have like a build of block on your face to prevent all the the nutrients within your skin cells so i'm talking from um, fatty acid to um so omega is it omega omega 3 and so on all the nutrients that your skin lipids to lipids and so on all the nutrients that your skin needs to keep hydrated to to look youthful including collagen as well to look youthful and everything that is what those block of bricks would actually do so you need to protect those block of bricks from breaking down otherwise when they break down because you do not protect them you will lose all the fatty acid the lipids and all the nutrients that your skin needs to look youthful and look very healthy which is where hydration comes in so to keep to protect your your skin barrier it's important that you you keep your skin very hydrated and um what more so before we we, we, we we've not talked about the steps yet we're, we're just still giving you like a, a quick heads up so the next um, important point i would like you to hold on to is also the maintenance to maintain in order for you to maintain like a good hydrate, hydrated skin i believe you need to be true to yourself on how much you can afford so you do not have to always go for the luxury brand um, products when you know you cannot go back to the product to to keep um, to keep your skincare routine consistent if you know what i mean and it's very important consistency in skincare routine is very important otherwise you won't be able to achieve your skin your skincare goal be it you want to achieve um, a smooth skin or you want to reduce wrinkles or you want to um you want to uh, uh, reduce the oiliness on, on the skin and so on consistency is very important so that is why you need to be true to yourself on what you can afford so budget yourself this is how much i can afford every month and this is the product that what I have can actually buy. So buy those those um, skincare products that you actually need, that you believe you can afford, 
and keep buying and keep going back with that you you'll be able to be consistent with what you're doing and um, with your skincare routine if you know what i mean and you also stick to the same products that works for your skin so you need you need, that's very important when it comes to maintaining um hydration on the skin so and also when it comes to maintaining hydration on your skin it's also advisable not to use a micro micro needling because that is very common in almost all skincare routine everyone has i i have one as well until i stopped I just got tired of it. I'm not sure if it's something that I need or something like that. So I just decided to stick to what actually works for me. But according to what I understand and what I read is that it's actually not so not so good to to do micro needling on yourself. It's uh, don't do it at home. Just make sure you do it at um uh, at a, a, a clinical setting. If you know what I mean, the the kind of um they kind of handle it better professionally. They they know they know the amount that your skin needs. They know the they know how to um is it sterilize the 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 needle itself, the micro needling needling product itself, the the tool. And um, you know they they are also very careful. They understand they understand what they're doing because they're professional. So it's always advisable to go to a professional to do your micro needling. Micro needling is very great. It's a it's a great way to to actually train your skin to heal itself. So it's like you punch like um all into your skin, the tiny need very very tiny needle holes into your skin. Apply um your skincare. Of course, your skincare product will be apply uh, will be absorbed much better and everything, and your skin will be very rigid it will learn to heal itself it will produce new cells new skin and so on so it's very good it's also very good in in maintaining your 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 hydration on your skin but do it professionally do it in a clinical setting don't do it at home because that can um, that can be it can be very dangerous because you probably do not know how to sterilize the the tool if you know what i mean you don't know how to sterilize the tool you do not know how much how much product you can actually inject into your skin because there are some that come with some I, for example there the, was uh, i actually saw one that actually has um is it hyaluronic acid serum in it whereby as you roll it um the the serum is also being injected into the into the skin and so on you know it's genius and all but it should be used in a professional settings and i be I, I accept that so and what more what other way can we maintain i believe when it comes to maintaining your skin hydration it's also very important to not to go for aggressive laser treatments Again, at in the in the clinic, clinical settings, do not opt for uh, an aggressive one. O opt for something that is very mild that won't dry your skin and so on. If you know, so because that's very important for your to protect your skin barrier. And also, when it comes to maintaining hydration on your skin, it's very important that you do not. Um, over exfoliate so when it comes to exfoliating your skin the new skin trend which i believe it's very good to adopt is actually um chemical exfoliation which are much gentle and it starts from either um enzyme scrubs which are very good in um dissolving the whatever binds the dead dead skin cells we want that and it's all and um there are so uh, there's um this aha there's aha and there's bha and there's glycolic acid they're very great in um exfoliate exfoliating the skin but very very gentle so chemical exfoliation i'll definitely recommend uh, physical exfoliation is too is too harsh on the skin it can break down your skin barrier and it can also lead to hyperpigmentation and so on so chemical i mean innovation has grown innovation has taken over the skincare community and um chemical exfoliation is part of the new innovations please embrace it and use that regularly i mean exfoliate probably wants to 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 say two to three times in a week to be fair two to three times in a week and that's just enough so um it's good to to pay attention to to your exfoliation gentle gentle exfoliation all seasons is recommended it used to be just for winter season because the weather is very dry and so on but now it's all season because it really makes sense really to protect your skin barrier and another way I believe you can also maintain hydration on your skin is to also pay attention to the percentage of ingredients in your skincare products. And this starts from either ironic acid, vitamin C, um, what more, what, what's the uh, ceramides, all the trending ingredients that we all know, niacinamide and so on, that are, they are very effective and very potent. So pay attention to the percentage. When the percentage is too high, it might be too aggressive for your skin. And sometimes, and, and this 
includes all skin types you know sometimes um, i mean for example i use um, a vitamin c serum that's about it has about 20 percent um uh, vitamin C in it, which is quite high. I like it because I have textured skin number one And I only use it probably like twice every week and it's not always all every week Probably twice every two weeks and so on So it's it's okay for me and the result you usually get is um, almost instant smoothness if you know what I mean So I need that smoothness and and um, brightness and so on I need that and I understand my skin which brings me to the final point understand your skin so always pay attention to what your skin is seen there have been in the past whereby i was actually going through my skincare routine and i actually used the um, niacinamide serum along with some um, glycolic acid and i can just immediately see see the dullness on my skin i don't know probably like a, 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 a chemical reaction or something like that then i later found out that glycolic acid and niacinamide serum cannot be they can't work together so i choose one day so they, i have a day for niacinamide and another day for glycolic acid so Pay attention, know your skin, discern your skin, understand your skin, and then once you you're able to do that, you'll be able to know what products to to go for and um how to maintain your skin hydration, which is the point of today's uh, which is the purpose of today's video. So now that I've given you like a few heads up and what and what you need you need to do to maintain and um, what hydration really does what are the five steps that we should actually take in order to achieve a beautiful happy hydrated skin continue watching <laughs>
as part of your skincare routine in order to achieve a good hydrated skin so and like i said i um serums comes as um the third step in your skincare routine so that's very important and then what more what more do i need to so yeah let me recommend you know just because we need to be honest with each other i can tell you the steps and not tell you where to find this product so the product that i'll definitely recommend to you uh, a good hyaluronic acid serum is by uh, Pericone MD, which is um which is called Pericone Pericone MD High Potency Hyaluronic Intens Intensive Serum. It comes in a fifty nine ml bottle size, and it retails for seventy nine pounds. So now this is lux, this is luxury. So if you can afford this, you can you can go for this one, and you know and keep going back to maintain your 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 skin hydration. But if you think it's too expensive. I, there's another brand who has a very good um who has a very good ironic acid serum on the market and it's very effective and it's called um it's, it's called the ordinary we all know the ordinary i use the ordinary as one of the best skincare products that actually works so i'll definitely recommend it to you and it's called um the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 30 mil and it comes in 30 mil bottle size it retails only for seven pounds 90 seven pounds 90 and that should get you through the months i mean i use my ironic acid every day and sometimes it lasts me two months or more and this is just like a 30 mil 30 mil bottle size so i would i, I would definitely recommend this one to you it works so and if you want to go for the for the lux um version you can also go for the lux version they all have their benefits and so on but you know these two i would definitely recommend to you to fit your budget while we've been um being honest in today's video so ironic acid is very important in your skincare routine to keep um, to keep your skin hydrated it plumps the skin it gives youthful skin it attracts the skin it also encourages your skin your skin to hold on to moisture not only does it attract from the hair and from within the cell it also encourages it to hold on to moisture which is very great for youthful skin and if you want to fight some um, wrinkles fine lines and so on you need to start with your, your ironic acid so let's move on to the next step. All right, so the third step that I believe you need to, to achieve a beautiful hydrated skin is with the use of glycerin. I don't think we actually talk about glycerin anymore. It's like a, a past trend, but yet yeah, most of all our skincare products contain glycerin. They're very great for, um, for keeping the skin hydrated and moisturizing the skin. Look out for it in your skincare products, say from your moisturizer to your cleanser to your toners and so on. They, they, also, they are also like an important part of, um, of any skincare routine and they're very great in combating dryness. I mean, I used to use glycerin as part of my skincare routine when i was much younger and um for some for some reason with the introduction of hyaluronic acid and so on you know well, we just pushed it to the side and just focus on hyaluronic acid but glycerin is also very important and very very good they're gentle and they're very suitable for all skin types although there are reservations about it there are reservations that because it also has some um, similar character as um, hyaluronic acid as well it draws uh, moisture from within the skin cells onto the upper layer of the skin just to keep it plumped and um, hydrated and so on. I do not know if it actually encourages the skin to hold on to moisture, but I know it helps the skin to draw moisture from within to keep it hydrated and smooth and very youthful. So combination of it with hyaluronic acid is very, very great. The only reservation is that um, because it draws water from the cell that it's mildly to dry. I don't, I don't believe in any of the reservation that it might lead to dryness and um, to have it diluted so that it does not so, so some some do recommend to dilute it with rose water just to to make it um, less aggressive if you know what i mean but i would it, i would, i have confidence in rose in um in glycerin so it i've never reacted that badly to it before all i know is that it keeps your skin very smooth and over time you achieve your skincare goal especially when it comes to smoothness and um hydration and so on so um that's the that's the reservation about glycerin and reservation about hyaluronic acid is that um in dry weather like um winter season you might not get um, the benefit as much because it's uh, as it's described is meant to attract uh, moisture from the environment from the air and so on but if the the air in the environment is dry what moisture can it attract so i would say the solution to that is to use um a steamer there's um this steamer that we use to to steam our face and so on so use it while applying it just to help it to 
to perform better while during your skincare routine it's a it's a boost you can't afford not to have it either the weather is dry or not or not dry you need it in your skincare routine in order to maintain your skin moisture um, hydration if you know what i mean so that's very important all right so the next step into keeping a beautiful happy hydrated skin is a moisturizer a good moisturizer is very important in your skincare routine and like i said earlier make sure that your moisturizer contain glycerin they contain ironic acid ceramides and other um and other essential oil like squalene and so on that pro that actually encourages um hydration and moisturizes the skin and so on so because these are all the parts these are all the ways we we can uh, we actually keep our skin hydrated with the drinking of water and healthy living fruits, vegetables, and so on. With some ironic acid, with some glycerin, and also with um with moisturizer. I forgot to recommend um the best glycerin on the market. To be honest, glycerin is not so common on the market because we we barely talk about it. But it's very very important in our skincare routine, and I believe that it's something that will benefit our skin. I've used it in the past before, but because when new in innovation comes in, we just kind of um chuck. We chuck the old ones away anyway so the best um glycerin that i'll recommend to you in today's video is the one called um, pure glycerin face serum it's actually a glycerin face serum and it contains um 15 percent um glycerin so it contains 15 percent glycerin you can use it twice a week or once a week understand your skin before using it and it only retails for 14 pounds so it's something that you can easily afford and keep going back to over and over again i wish i can find something that is much cheaper in a serum form but they are it's so hard to find so if you manage to lay your hands on this one you're doing your skin a great a great um a great thing <laughs> Yeah, that's the right word. So you're doing your skin a great thing. So I'll definitely recommend it to you. And if you're in doubt, please follow your intuition. That's very important because the, what we don't talk about much in within the skincare and beauty um, community is that um, we need to, we, all, we also have intuition. There are sometimes you actually look at a makeup product and you'll be like, you know what, this is not going to work for me. And there are sometimes you look at a skincare product as well and you go like, this is definitely not mine. So follow that intuition. That's very important. So if you're in doubt, consult your dermatologist. So don't try something new that you have doubts and you, you know, especially if you have sensitive, reactive skin, please contact your dermatologist. And if you do not, patch test. Even either you have sensitive skin or you do not have sensitive skin, Always patch test your skincare products before embarking on using them. Patch test in the small area of your skin, probably your face, wherever you want to use it overnight and see how your skin responds to it before diving into, into buying it and um, or using it on your skin. You know, no one, wants, no one wants any bad reaction. I have that as well, so I'm passing it on to you. <laughs> All right, so back to the moisturizer, like I was saying, a good moisturizer that, that hydrates, that contains all the all these good ingredients ingredients that attract moisture to the skin, help your skin to hold on to moisture, strengthen your skin barriers, strengthen your skin elasticity, and so on. So I found the good moisturizer on the market that will actually do this for you, and it's called the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's the trending moisturizer on the market right now, and everybody, all beauty influencers, the beauty in, you know, community won't stop talking about it it's that good so it contains um all the skin skin um ingredients this the good skin ingredients that your skin needs to to um to keep its hydration and so on so i'll definitely recommend it to you and it only retails for 79 pounds so if you want something luxury this i'll definitely recommend the charlie tilbury magic cream to you but if you want something very much affordable i'll definitely recommend the one by the ordinary the ordinary has one of the most effective um, skincare products affordable skincare products they work that's all the, the brand's products works so it's called the ordinary natural moisturizing factor plus ha and it comes in 100 ml and it only retails for nine pounds 90 which i believe is very affordable it has all the all the ingredients that you need to 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 maintain your skin hydration so these are the two um best um moisturizer that i'll recommend to you in today's video if you want to go high you can go for charlotte Tilbury, and if you want to beat it down you can go for the ordinary they will they will both achieve the same results so i'm just saying <laughs>
all right finally we're looking into the which is the fifth step into into achieving a beautiful happy hydrated skin we're looking into a good facial oil i believe a facial oil is very important in any skincare routine i was gonna leave it out but then i'm like you know what i'm not gonna be honest because i use i have oily skin yet i have a i use facial oil in my skincare routine and this is every day so i have flat cleansing toner serums moisturizer then i place my um my oil my facial oil on top just to prevent the evaporation of the moisturizer and serums and so on so it, it's it's kind of acts as a sealant so it seals all the moisture that you've just achieved from your skincare routine and it helps your skin to hold on to that moisture for a very for a very long time even overnight sleep overnight wake up the following following day your skin is still looking also supple very refreshed and so on despite um moving it up and down um a cotton a cotton pillow and so on so oil is very very important and they also contain good ingre um, nourishing ingredients from antioxidants that protect your skin from um, radical aggressors and radical aggressors range from UVA, UVB, up and down temperature, even internal aggressor that can be caused by work life, stress and so on. So they're very high in antioxidants. That's good. the good thing about facial oil. So always look out for the ones that are very high in antioxidants. And um, what more? I believe that's all the information about oil. But the best ones on the market. So again, we're going high and low, just to, to be honest. And um, to go high, I believe the pie, um, skincare rose hip bio 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 regenerates universal facial oil it comes in 30 ml so it's called pie skincare rose hip bio regenerates universal facial oil in 30 ml bottle size and it only retails for 29 pounds and that is lux so you can use this as a final step in your skincare routine and to go low um you can go for again the ordinary so go for the ordinary 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil in 30 ml and this retails for nine pounds 70 so it retails for nine pounds 70 so these are all the products that i recommend to you in achieving a beautiful hydrated happy skin is it happy a happy hydrated skin yeah a happy hydrated skin in we, autumn winter spring summer all these products are definitely important so for the um for the moisturizer if the weather changes for example in winter season we do tend to gravitate towards some um, heavier cream so if you think you have that kind of skin that can handle a heavy cream you can go for much heavier cream than the ones recommended but i believe um they should between heavy and light light with um, moisturizer is just enough for for any skin type they they won't clog your pores and um you know your your, your skin will thrive so that's all and when it comes to the buying habits when buying all these products like i said earlier always a patch test so buy if they have like a sample product or if they have like a, a mini size in all these products always go for them but if they do not and you think you know I, you because you still have to try this product to know if it's something that will work for you if your intuition says it will work then pack, buy it patch test overnight before buying it before using it fully patch test overnight and see how your skin responds if there are no re reaction everything is safe then go ahead and um, and 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 use it but then um if it works for you go back and stock so that's the point that's the point i'm trying to to make so um patch test if it's something that you believe will work for you buy them in stock in you know at least three that will last you for the season i go through like um a bottle of um oil in in two months so if i stock on three at least for for autumn winter season those three will definitely last me because you do not want you do not want you do not want to go back to store and you realize that they've actually run out of your skincare product because that's very that's very important to everyone especially that cold product that that actually works your skin do not react and you can actually see results so you need to stock up stock up on three do not go too much because you don't want them to expire if you, if you know what i mean so you don't want, you do not want any expired product and always check with your dermatologist always check with your dermatologist because here at covet magazine we are not professionals so we cannot recommend any products to you especially if you um you have um sensitive skin and so on so always check with your dermatologist if you are in doubt we're only here to give you like a starting point and that's it <laughs> so we've come to the end of today's video i hope today's video didn't take too much of your time and i hope you really find today's video very helpful if you do 
give it a thumbs up we definitely appreciate it here at covet magazine leave us a comment and let us know how you feel about today's video are we really helpful here at covet magazine let us know in the comment box below otherwise we do not have anything to say just leave us a heart emoji and that's like a you are og <laughs> anyway do not forget to visit covetmagazines.com covetmagazines.com you will definitely have fun when you get there image courtesy goes to all the brands mentioned today from charlie tilbury to the ordinary to pie and so on and um we covet fashion and i'll see you in our next video <laughs> bye